This is an introduction to the analog device fully accurate 16-bit unbuffered Vout Quad SPI interface DAC AD5066. Welcome to the training module on the AD5066. This training module introduces the AD5066 unbuffered Quad SPI interface digital to analog converter. The AD5066 quad voltage output digital to analog converter provides 16-bit resolution with one least significant bit, max differential nonlinearity, B slash A grades specify 1 to 4 least significant bit, max integral nonlinearity. Each DAC has an individual reference input and an unbuffered voltage output that can drive a 60 kilo ohm load. This low power SPI compatible serial interface can be clocked up to 50 megahertz. The double buffered inputs allow all DACs to be updated simultaneously and to be cleared to be to a program value each channel can individually power down, resetting to zero or mid-scale when powered up. Operating on a single 2.7 volt to 5.5 volt supply, the AD5066 consumes 2.5 milliamps in normal mode and 0.4 microamps in power down mode. Available in a 16 lead TSOP package is specified from minus 40 degrees C 225 degrees C. This device sees various application areas like process control, data acquisition systems, programmable voltage and current source. Due to its less power consumption factor, it can be used in battery operated instruments. The AD5066 is a low power 16 bit quad channel unbuffered voltage output with nano DAC reference buffers provided on chip. The part uses a versatile three wire low power Schmidt trigger serial interface that operates at clock rates up to 50 megahertz. The AD5066 incorporates a power on reset circuit to ensure the DAC outputs power up to a known output state. The devices also have a software power down mode that reduces the typical current consumption to typically 400 nanoamps. It has the DAC architecture consists of two matched DAC sections. Data is written to the AD5066 in a 32-bit word format via a three-wire serial interface. It supports three-wire serial interface that is compatible with SPI, QSPI, microwire, and most DSP interface standards, SYNC. The write sequence begins by bringing the SYNC line low. Bringing the SYNC line low enables the DIN and SCL clock input buffers. Data from the DIN line is clocked into the 32-bit shift register on the falling edge of S-clock. The serial clock frequency can be as high as 50 MHz, making the AD5066 compatible with high-speed DSPs. On the 32nd falling clock edge, the last data bit is clocked in and the programmed function is executed. That is, a change in the input register contents and or change in the mode of operation. The input shift register is 32 bits wide. The first four bits are don't cares. The next four bits are the command bits, C3 to C0, followed by the four bit DAC address bits, A3 to A0, and finally the bit data word. The data word is comprised of a 16-bit input code followed by four don't care bits. These data bits are transferred to the input register on the 32nd falling edge of S-clock. Commands can be executed on individually selected DAC channels or on all the DACs.
This page shows interfacing the DAC to various microcontroller slash microprocessors. The ADSP-BF53X processor family incorporates two dual-channel synchronous serial ports, S port 1 and S port 0, for serial and multiprocessor communications. Using S port 0 to connect to the AD5066. In the 8051-TXD of the ADC51-ADL51 drives S-clock of the AD5066. RxD drives DN on the AD5066. And a bit programmable pin on the port P3.3 drives the sync signal. The ADC51 slash ADL51 transmits data in the 8-bit bytes only. Thus, only eight falling clock edges occur in the transmit cycle. This page gives application information about this device in order to increase the efficiency and to improve its performance. It is recommended to use an external voltage reference to supply the required voltage. It delivers steady supply for the device. And also in certain applications like process control in industrial environments, it is recommended to use a galvanically isolated interface in order to avoid any hazards.